the eyes of the world turn to South Africa and the glamour of the World Cup, businesses and sponsors will rake in the money from the lucrative game. But this male-dominated, multi-million dollar sport is also helping young girls to break free from a life of abuse, neglect and poverty. The World Cup in South Africa, with a difference. This competition is for street children from all over the globe. And it's not just boys who are playing, each team has to have at least one girl. But this doesn't always go down well with the boys, Hassanati from Tanzania explains. Poverty forced Hassanati onto the streets at the age of 13. She says the worst thing was trying to find food to survive. For Delise from the Philippines, football helps her forget her past. When I'm only alone before, when I'm not yet playing football, I always think of that bad things that happened to me. So I started playing football. Every time I play, I think, I'm thinking that I'm professional. But the Street Child World Cup is not just a vehicle to escape bad memories. There are workshops like this one for girls, organized by International Children's Organization, PLAN. We listen to the girls what they're going through on the street. We want to hear them, they're coming up with their solutions, they're coming up with what they should do themselves. Sé luchar, fui luchando con mi vida y dejando mi pasado. Ahora soy una mujer que se sabe valorar, no se deja ya de pegar de un hombre. Each national team will go out to the countries and especially also taking advantage of the World Cup to urge their governments to prioritize the agenda of street children, prioritize the agenda of street girls and keeping them safe from violence and accessing education and health services. Girls' education lies at the heart of another football project backed by Plan International in Ghana. Formerly, our ancestors, they thought education was not very important to a woman. After all, a woman will go to school and come and marry. So why then should the woman go and waste her time in school? Instead, girls helped around the house, sold produce at the market or worked on farms. Many ended up as teenage mothers. Knowing that Ghanaians are passionate about football, Plan decided to set up a football project for girls. But with a catch, the girls could only play in the team if they enrolled in school. The football project has helped me a lot. First, I'm an orphan. Yeah, and I don't have anybody who would take care of me. Plan gives girls like Maggie scholarships so that they can stay in school. Since the project began two years ago, girls' enrollment has increased by 15%. Girls Football Project, we see it as a form of a poverty alleviation tool and that would not only encourage girls to get out to their field to play football but it will ensure that they are physically fit in the classroom and mentally alert. The girls participating in this project are confident and assertive. If you educate a girl, you have educated the whole nation. <laughs>